I'll start by uh, creating a React app. Now you should create your React application. So once you have created the boilerplate code for your React app, you just navigate to your React application. And do an npm start. This is start your React application. We install bootstrap using npm. So npm install bootstrap. As well as save. This should install bootstrap modules in your React application. Once you've installed it, you go to your src, you go to your app.js. Inside, you can import the bootstrap modules. You can import it from node module bootstrap folders. Once you have installed it, or like uh, ins imported the bootstrap modules, inside we are showing some showing them HTML code for this thing. So what we'll do is we'll copy some sample bootstrap code just to see if it's working. So I'll go to your get bootstrap site and copy some HTML code. I'll go here. So I'll, 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 I'll Copy the first I'll copy the CSS file. So I'll create one more file called sign.css. I'll I'll paste it and import this thing in my yeah import dot slash sign in dot CSS. Now uh, instead I'll create one container. Now let's copy the HTML code. Let's copy this whole code. Paste it inside. Let's format the code. Now if you see uh, there are some small issues here. Okay, I'll remove this image thing. We are not using that. Uh, input input tag, some tags are missing, so I'll just add an ending slash to this thing. Similarly here and similarly here. Now, as we can see, it's a class here. It should be class name for React works. So I'll simply replace this thing with class name. You know, it's good everywhere. So I'll just save the files and all. I'll do an npm start. And one more thing, I need to add a width to the root to the root component here. So I'll just add root here and a width of 100 percent. That's because the root component doesn't have a width right now. So if you check the app here, you can see that the sign in bootstrap template is getting loaded. I hope you find this video useful. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.